Greetings, my name is Tommy the Keyblade Master, and welcome to my channel. Well, today Nintendo finally released Mario Kart DS on their Wii U Virtual Console. I was kind of hoping this would be the first game when they announced their initial lineup of DS games, mainly because this one I had more experience with. I got this as my second game with my Nintendo DS. The first game I got for that was the Castlevania... What is it? Donosaro, yeah, Castlevania Donosaro, and then I got this one a few weeks later, and I remember playing this one a bunch. This is like my second favorite Mario Kart out of all the Mario Karts, easily. So, <clears throat> how is it going to be on the Virtual Console? I'll have to ask myself that, because this one probably won't have any online, and he definitely won't have any local multiplayer. As far as I know, they didn't throw that in there. So I'm kind of curious how they did this multiplayer game, just the single player edition, and if it's still good. And I'm going to be doing a bunch of Let's Plays just to show them off and see how they are. I'll do the first course right now, and then afterwards I'll let you know if I think it's worth the pickup just based on that. So, let's get this started. I just clicked on the um, thing in my little gamepad it's now preparing the thing for launch and preparing some more all right this was released whoa 10 years ago I'm starting to feel old <laughs> I think that Mario Kart DS is 10 years old all right same BS as the Yoshi Island okay Nintendo I got a bone to pick with you if you think that screen is um, anything I would want to see upper screen on TV that will probably be the best for these let's plays these Mario Kart DS play but yeah Nintendo that initial DS skin screen I don't know why I would want to show that it's just too freaking small unless you own a giant TV anyways Mario Kart DS 2005 copyright uh, it's a nickname, Tommy Correct. Yeah. Okay, this is still assuming that it has multiplayer. I'm sorry, you can't see the bottom screen because I put it on my gamepad, but during races, Tommy will appear on screen. Is this okay? Create a custom... Nah. <coughs> okay, what it was doing was asking me to create these custom emblems and to choose a nickname for the online. Because you could have it if you went online. Let's see what happens if I do try a Wi-Fi match. I'm willing to bet it's... Going to tell me it's no longer there after a few minutes. Let's find out. Yeah! <laughs> oh! I know there's going to be a few people who don't understand this calling Nintendo with that error code today. I just have that feeling. <laughs> I need to do a list of five games I'd like to see on this virtual console service and then five games that are good on the DS but I don't think would be good anywhere else. Anyways, um, let's get this game started. I'll be choosing single player Grand Prix. We'll start off with 50cc. Alright, okay. We get to start off with Luigi with deep best cart in the game whenever I raced online pretty much everybody was using this cart if not they had one of Rob's mobiles and he was incredibly hard to get most people chose this cart it's easy to use it's fast it's kind of the Princess Peach of uh, Mario Kart DS anyways we'll get started figure 8 circuit it looks good this doing something. Um, smoothing. On. Okay. That does look a little blurrier, but, you know, I kind of like that. Some people might not. Alright, the R button still allows me to... Never really good at snaking. Ah! Yeah, you still have that medicine ghost and that's when they took him off after this. Anyways, I remember when I got this, I was a little nervous about whether or not I liked it, because I 
not really fond of the two Mario Karts that come before this. Uh, Mario Kart for the GBA, I think, has just aged like trash, and um, the um, GameCube version was still pretty good. I like that, um, but I didn't really love it. I like the thought of having two characters at once, and I kind of wish they had that mode in the other Mario Kart games that followed, but I didn't like the fact that that was the only mode. I kind of wanted a mode where I could just race one character, kind of keep it simple. So, you know, I'm kind of mixed feelings on that one. Anyways, this one's a pretty easy cart. Racer right here, it's just your standard stadium. And if you have a bunch of bananas, you can slip people up like that. And since I'm first place, that's all I'm going to be getting is bananas and occasional mushroom, probably. Whoa. Ah. I hate lightning. Or at least I hate it when other people get lightning. One of the things I don't like about Mario Kart 8 is they took out the ability to use this as a shield. Okay, someone's got a sh ghost. see Mario or Wario on my bottom screen I have just the top zoomed in um, the bottom screen in this game kind of operates as the map it's kind of similar to Super Mario Kart in the way it did its split screens a little bit more info on the bottom map though you get to see who has what items items and if they're getting close to you a little bit better than that one but then, uh, the original Mario Kart wasn't in 3D. <laughs> Use pseudo 3D called Mode 7. <laughs> Remember, folks, nothing sucks like being beaten by an Electrolux. Yeah. Uh, don't get mad if you see in all my Let's Plays, I'm just using Luigi. <laughs> He's just such a good character to race with. Anyways. Yeah, all right, cheap, cheap balls. This one's interesting. You're kind of always on this um, hang glide. Oh, hmm. You have to choose, you know, if you want to take that, um, take this inner course or stick to the safer but longer outer circle. Generally, if you got a fast cart like mine, you'll want the inner circle, but if you got a heavy one, you have to be careful because that water will sleep you out. Anyways, see if I can't catch up with Wario. Red shell, please. Red shell, red shell, red shell. <laughs> gotcha. Ah, oh, no! Son of a gun. Alright. Alright, yeah, the squid was actually a new item in this one, and it was actually kind of a cool idea for the new DS. You know, you activate that, and your top screen where you see your character all of a sudden gets polluted, and you have to try to navigate on the bottom screen. And it's been in every one since even the console versions. But you don't have that luxury. And we're about to clear through our second one. Go! Time 141.674. 32 seconds each, next course. Cheap, cheap beach. Then we just get through uh, one with a waterfall or something. Anyways, this is kind of based off, I think, a few of the Super Nintendo beach tracks to see in what it looks like. And, um... Uh, 
Get out of my way, Toad. Alright, yeah, this one's a pretty standard one. You gotta dodge stuff and um, stay out of the water. It's your typical beach stage in the Mario game, Kart games. And while you know, I was bashing the GameCube version, um, its beach stage is probably my favorite beach stage out of all of them. Not that this one has a necessarily terrible beach stage. Whoa. All right. Uh. And it's just, you know, every game Mario Kart has a triple lap around it. All right. Ah, uh, Wario's still ahead of me. Don't know why. Get back here, Wario. Take that. Ah. Uh. Oh. You broke my vacuum! You suck more than it does! Oh! Oh! Take that! Alright. Ah! Uh, thank you, whoever did that! Mario was trying to get past me by bullying me around, now he won't be able to do it. So I'll sneak past him while he's small. I'm not paying much attention to the bottom screen. It's kind of hard doing this on the Wii U. The DS is a little bit easier. Oh! Okay, one thing I hate about the Mario Kart games um, is those spike shells. And I know they put in the horn in Mario Kart 8, but they really just need to find another power weapon and fix that to where it does something. Um, all that really does is get the person who's in first pissed off at whoever throws that at him. It doesn't really help the person who threw that at him unless it's a very, very tight race. So, ah, uh, you suck, Blobbert. All right. Oh, someone doesn't like me. They're firing shells. Wario, I know that was you. Still can't beat me. You're about to get beaten by an Electrolux for the third time. <laughs> Go! Ah. Uh. So exactly what happens to um, Luigi's cart there when the bag gets full? That would suck to be racing around and have that thing blow up on him. Of course, this vacuum racer was made after um, Luigi's Mansion, which is what this course is. And this is also one of my favorite courses in the game by just its look and design. Let's see how it does on the big screen. One of the things I've noticed in this game is, yes, it's a little bit pixelated in the way it looks. I was kind of expecting that. This is a... Yes, game. Um, outside of some of the pixelated, obviously low resolution look, it doesn't look half bad. You know, like I said I could see myself buying and reviewing a few of these games on this. Firing the shell. All right. Alright, get past this area. Alright. Alright, oh yeah, so this is one of my favorite areas. I was saying that. Sorry, I got distracted. There was a phone going off in the background. Anyways, uh, keep going around. You see the ghosts and stuff from Luigi's Mansion all throughout here, and then you kind of like exit into this graveyard swamp. I guess it is. Like the different areas, and then the booze. Kind of showing off that the Nintendo DS does have a 3D look 
And if I remember right, you know, the Nintendo DS did not do well its first year. In fact, I think it almost did as fully as the 3DS did for the first couple of months of its existence. There weren't a lot of games that I wanted for it. In fact, it launched with um, Super Mario 64 DS, which is a game I don't want on this virtual console service. You know, I really don't. It's kind of, ironically, they launched Mario 64 the same day, you know, they released the first DS game, and they really shouldn't put Mario 64 on this service. And it's just because it's not that it's a bad portable port, don't get me wrong, if you own a DS, you don't own a Wii or a Wii U or a Nintendo 64, you just own a DS or 3DS, Mario 64 DS is not a bad port. Don't get me wrong, there's a few things I wouldn't mind seeing in a HD upgrade or something of that game for the Wii U. The problem with that game is that it doesn't have analog control. And that matters in um, that game. That game helped kind of bring that to the masses, and it's just wrong without it. You need it to play, and it's just very frustrating to play. If they did do a port, but, you know, remade it to use the analog sticks of the Wii U correctly, then I might give it a recommendation. But I would not want that port there. Anyways, uh, while I was yammering, I just cleared the last one. Um, uh, playing it now, do I recommend it for $10? Um, I'm gonna give you this. If you don't own a Nintendo DS, if you do not own a Nintendo 3DS, go ahead and pick this up. It's got some of the best courses in a Mario Kart game. It's got some really great racers, some really great customizable options. Little Bear compared to the, um newer Mario games. It also has a bunch of the retro courses. This was one of the first Mario Karts that actually had those. So it's a really solid and it's still a fun single player game. However, if you own one of those two consoles, seek it out there. You'll have all those multiplayer options. You still won't have Wi-Fi battles because Nintendo shut that off a year ago. But, you know, if you're just looking for a single player Mario Kart experience, this will do. Um, if you're looking for something more multiplayer though, be patient and wait for them to put out Mario Kart 64 on the Wii U if you don't have the classic controller set up to play it in the original Wii mode. Um, either one would be better than playing this, but again this isn't a bad game. If you're a fan of Mario Kart and you haven't tried this one, it might be worth picking it up for $10 here. Anyways, I'm going to be doing um, more Let's Plays on this. Just showing you off and doing a little bit of commentary and a little bit of ranting. So, with that said, um, the, I'm Tommy the Keyblade Master signing out right after I show you the victory scene. It's Remember, right, it's just a whole bunch of people kind of doing the power slide. Yeah. No trophies. I think this is the first... No, wait, no, it's not. Mario Kart Double Dash was the first game to take out the Cheap Keep. I don't know why they took out the blast of Cheap Cheap, I like the Cheap Cheap balloon giving you the trophy, but they took it out. Here you just see, you see them kind of celebrating on that raceway each and every time. I got a rank A. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't get any rewards or anything. Eh. Oh well. Anyways, I'm going to stop yammering now. And sign out. I'll be back with more. I'll probably do a classic one and have it up tonight, too. Anyways, thank you for listening to this um, Let's Play of the Mushroom Cup of Mario Kart DS. This is Tommy the Keyblade Master signing out.